In this first video on the spiral stairs, I'm going to show you how to make the treads that wrap around a center post. My recommendation is that you first draw the stair in plan view, like I have right here, using the criteria in the handout. Now I've drawn those on a layer that I'll then turn off, but you'll also want to start a layer called stair and begin constructing the stair on that layer. So I've made it the current layer. Now, to generate each tread, the easiest way to do this would be to create a closed polyline of one tread and then to form an array. So I'll do that first. I'm going to construct a couple of arcs and I'll snap to one point. I'll use the nearest object snap as my second point and end point for my third point. I'll construct another arc at the middle here of the stair. Arc, end point, NEA, and then end point. Zoom back out, draw a line connecting the two another line connecting the other two, and then in the layer manager I'm going to turn off my construction lines. So I have this pie shaped piece that I can then use the pedit command to join into a closed polyline. And it seems to be okay. Now this will be the bottom one and what I'm going to do is use the extrude tool to give it thickness. Now I want to give it a thickness that is minus 2 so that the top of it is at the 0 level on the z-axis. It will make it easier to move it later. Now my current view style is realistic and that's why I'm now seeing a tone for the step. Now I'm going to be making copies of this through the array and if I want to make any changes to the base tread the easiest thing to do would be to make it first into a block. So I'm going to do that. B for block, and I'll call it tread pick point. I'll make the pick point the center of these arcs, and then I'll select the object and say OK. OK. And I'll redefine it if there's already one defined as tread you probably won't have that happen. Uh, next we'll form the array. So the array will allow us to make multiple copies in a, in a circular arrangement. This will be a polar array. The center point of the array will be the center of any one of the arcs. And according to my configuration, I've got 12 risers. Now when I go to the southwest view, I can see that um, this object is a grouped array. And in order to move them vertically, I'm going to need to um, disjoin them. So I'm going to use the explode command to separate them into individual objects. Now they are. Right, then I'm going to begin to move them vertically. So I know that my my risers are 8 inches high, so I'll just begin to, to raise them in increments of 8. That first one was 8, the second one will be 16, the third one will be 24, and I can just go around and continue adding in increments of 8. Alright, now I've moved them all up, and I have um, 8 feet of treads. Now I need to go from 0 feet to 12 feet, so I'm going to need to make some copies. I've gone to the front view, and from there I'm going to make copies of 6 of them on the lower half. Copy, select objects, and move them up 8 feet, and I should be done.